Hey, let's go ride a bike to the Siemens Spawn. Siemens Spawn is currently an abandoned S-Spawn rail line that runs from the siemens charlottenburg border. I'm starting at my apartment in Berlin's best end neighborhood, just on the edge of Charlottenburg. From here, we'll go north to see some trains and cross into siemens where we'll find what's left of the Siemens Spawn. And from there, we'll catch a train back home in Spandau. Let's go! This is Rodanbrück. It crosses the Spree, and below us is one of Berlin's main rail corridors. High-speed trains from Hamburg and further beyond run through here, along with many of the city's S-Bahn lines. Just across the bridge is Siemensstadt, part of the district of Spandau. As you can see, it looks a lot like a regular business park on the side of the spray. In fact, Thälen Teckenpark Berlin is where we find this abandoned bridge. We continue north to Bahnhof Siemensstadt and its bridge crossing. As early as 1899, Siemens and Halsk acquired land in the area and started building up its factories. The town Siemensstadt grew up around it. The Siemens Bahn opened in 1929, shortly after Siemensstadt was incorporated into the city of Berlin as part of the city's Spandau district. Of the 90,000 people employed by Siemens, around 17,000 used the S-Bahn. A train ran through Bahnhof Siemensstadt here every five minutes. Today, however, you'll find there are no trains serving the immediate area. Closed since 1980, the city of Berlin is now working on reactivating the line. Continuing north from Bahnhof Stiemenstadt, we reach the end of the line with Bahnhof Gartenfeld. It is surrounded by construction cranes busy at work on developing Das Neue Gartenfeld. The population of Berlin is growing, and so must the city. The projects pictured here are planned to include 3,700 new homes around the reactivated rail line, and many more are planned in the future. Gartenfeld is essentially an island in the middle of the berlin spandauer Schiffsartskanal, a federal shipping canal that connects the Spree and Havel. It is more commonly known as the Hohenzollern Canal. If you continue to follow it into the city, you'd go past my own apartment and end up at the Hauptbahnhof, or central train station. For now though, we ride in the direction of Spandau to catch our train home.
At last, we've reached Spandau Espanhof. We'll catch a train back home now, but thanks for coming along. According to Ride with GPS, this was a 17.2 kilometer bike ride that took just under one hour. Getting here cost me nothing, and the train ride back with my bike was only two euros, 10 cents. You can't really beat that with a car. It was a fun ride, and I really enjoy seeing how cities like Berlin are able to recycle and reuse long forgotten infrastructure like the Siemensbahn. You can find a link to the full bike route in the description below. Thanks for making it to the end. This is my second big video, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you liked it yourself and want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. Here's a list of my patrons who've made this work possible, and I'm honored to have their support. You too can be among heroes by checking out my Patreon and Ko-Fi Tipdar with the link in the description below. In my first video, I said I was moving to Berlin. Well, after 11 months and the most stressful move of my life, I finally settled in enough to post this one. I've got a long backlog of all my other rides I took this year around Berlin, and you definitely won't have to wait a whole year for the next one. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.